parents. Welcome to my GT Parent Awareness Session. My name is Mrs. Cedio and I'm the GT Enrichment Specialist here at Northwest Crossing Elementary School. This session is for parents wanting to know more about our GT program. What is GT? Well, GT stands for Gifted and Talented. Gifted is based on the scores of a COGAT test, Cognitive Abilities test, and it's generally considered in the gifted range if they score 90 or above on that test. Talented is based on the ITBS, or the Iowa Test of Basic Skills. This is an achievement test, or the Torrance Test of Creativity, and again, um, a score of 90 or above generally tells us that your child falls in the gifted range or on the Torrance test a score of 75 or above generally tells us that your child is highly creative. So in elementary school they will receive their gifted services if they are identified through our ALPHA program which stands for Advanced Learning Programs for High Achievers. Our Gifted program in NISD is a general intellectual ability program and services students identified as gifted based on a matrix of test scores and parent teacher behavior checklists. We meet once a week in small groups and they will meet with me, their GT specialist, Mrs. Cedio. Who can nominate? Just about anybody, teachers, counselors, administrators, parents, peers, and even self. So let's talk about the difference between a gifted child and a bright child because even if your child does not necessarily qualify for the gifted and talented program in Northside, they may still be a very bright child. Gifted children catch on quickly, work independently, they have good attention spans for non-routine, new, and unusual material. They have excellent questioning skills and they are very curious. They are logical and they often read at an advanced level. They have high levels of creativity and they have very thought-provoking responses. They've got lots of big ideas and they think very deeply about things. A bright child completes their work. They're not necessarily a risk taker. They like to complete activities where they feel they'll be successful. Um, they're one of the first kids with their hands in the air to respond to questions. If they do ask questions, they're generally safe questions. They're almost always A students. They're very bright children. They're good at school. They like school. They're very knowledgeable. They're punctual with their assignments. They're usually organized, um, uh, but they are sometimes weak at higher levels of thinking and highly creative out-of-the-box assignments. Let's talk about our screening process. So if your child is nominated to be screened and tested for the Gifted and Talented program, the first thing that will come home are behavior checklists. This goes to the parent and the teacher because you see your children in two different settings and we recognize that children um, sometimes display different behavior in different settings. So one will go to you and one will go to their teacher. The next step is a cognitive abilities test or the COGAT test. Then there's an academic achievement test, the ITBS. Again, that stands for the Iowa Test of Basic Skills. And there's a Torrance Test of Creativity and that tests your children's creative thinking. This is what the test, uh, the behavior checklist, looks like. It's much longer. This is just one little section of it. I put it in here so you could see an example. You will put a an X in one of these boxes. Um, the more often you see this behavior in your child, so you'll read this behavior all the way through. Please make sure you read to the end of the behavior description, and then you'll mark the boxes depending on whether you see that behavior rarely or never sometimes, often, or almost always. Our Iowa test of basic skills, generally students need scores of 90 and above to be considered in the gifted range. On the COGAT, cognitive abilities test, again, they generally need a score of 90 and above to be considered in the gifted range. On the Torrance Test of Creativity, scores of 75 and above indicate high levels of creativity. On your parent and teacher checklists for GT behaviors, when in doubt, check up. 
Um, don't feel like you need to be modest. It's okay. You're not being braggy. We understand. Uh, be honest. This is an example of the COGAT test. This is just a short example. If you notice, it's testing their verbal and number analogies, their ability to see patterns and make predictions and see relationships. This is an example of the Torrance test of creativity. The students are given various squiggles and, or lines, and they're asked to um, draw to turn that squiggle or line into the most unique and creative and different thing that they can. They're also asked to come up with a title and or description for each one, and they're uh, scored on how unique or different this is as well. What is intelligence? So this graph shows the curve as this goes up. You see that most of the population up here at the top falls in the average range, which is an IQ of about 100. And of course, this is a range. So there's not one score that is perfect or average. This is a range. Uh, gifted is in this higher level up here that you notice. And just for kind of a reference point, Einstein was all the way up here at 160. Here are the testing windows for this year. These are the deadlines for nomination. Please don't wait till the very last minute to nominate your child. Go ahead and start having conversations with their teachers to see if um, your counterpart or other people in their life, their teacher, uh, their, you know, maybe mom or dad, maybe aunts and uncles, talk to your teachers, see if everyone else is seeing some of those same behaviors we talked about earlier. Again, anyone can nominate. You don't need your teacher's permission to nominate, but it is uh, worthy of a conversation with your child's teacher. It's a good conversation to have. And please have that conversation before this date. You can nominate by coming and having a conversation with me, sending a letter. You can email me at mary.cdo at nisd.net. And you can let their teachers know if you nominate them to their teachers, their teachers will tell me that you nominated them and they will forward that email to me as well. Or, or let me know of the conversation. This is the testing window. So once they're nominated, these are the windows they would be tested during. So if you're planning on nominating your child, please don't schedule any big vacations or out of town trips during these windows because it, uh, it would, might affect our ability to give your child those tests. So why should my child receive GT services? Good reasons for nominating is because he or she is ready for a challenge. He or, she, he or she consistently goes beyond the required curriculum or because he or she is intensely creative and academically capable. Reasons not to ask for GT services. Because my child is bored or because my child functions well at grade level and they're not asking for more. Um, or because you feel it will reflect well on you as their parent. Uh, a child being identified for gifted and talented services or not being identified for gifted and talented services is in no way a reflection on their parents or their parents' ability to be good parents. Things to consider before you request testing. The testing process is rigorous and it can even be traumatic to a child if they're not ready for the challenge. So sometimes if a child is very young, we might wanna wait a year so that they're ready for that, uh, that, those tests. They do have to sit for a while to take those tests and be able to follow the instructions and the prompts given to them as they move through the tests. There are many ways to enrich a child in school um, and outside of school. I'm happy to recommend some resources to help your child fulfill their potential, and that's true whether or not they are identified as um, gifted and talented. So what does the identification process look like? This is the awareness session, and I also had an in-person awareness session, but if you were unable to attend my in-person awareness session, this is online, so you can refer back to it anytime you need to. 
Referral can be done by teachers, parents, counselors, administrators, students. Then comes the screening process, which is our testing. Testing can be done here at School by Me, or there's times when um, our district might send out a, a tester. And it is possible in some unique cases to, uh, for the need to test at our testing center in Northside. But usually most of our testing is done right here at Northwest Crossing, then is very minimally invasive. When we get our scores back, they will go to a campus selection committee review. This is made up of the principal, the GT specialist, that's me, Mrs. Cedio, and a counselor. And then next comes parent notification, where we will send home those scores. When you see your child's scores, it will tell you whether or not your child is being recommended for placement in the program. And uh, I will also send the scores with them. The scores are normed at 50, so know that anything above 50 is above average and anything below 50 is below average. And the further you get away from 50, the further away you get from that average score. These are some more resources for you if you're wanting to know a little bit more or you'd like to do a little bit more research. Our program goals, the Gifted and Talented program, are to provide an enrichment program to stimulate the talents of and challenge GT students. So if they are put into the Gifted and Talented program, they will be challenged. It will be hard for them, and that is good, especially when they first join the program. They might not be used to being challenged at such a high level. It's good to reassure them and tell them that they can do it, they can meet this challenge, and that they'll get used to it uh, very soon. They'll build up that stamina and, and ability. It is another program goal is to guide students in developing a healthy self-concept and acquiring complex skills for collaboration, conflict resolution, and teamwork, as well as implement the principles of divergent thinking and foster the higher order thinking skills of analysis, synthesis, and evaluation, and also to promote creative problem solving for real world issues. Alpha students Services start with our primary students in grades one and two to nurture creative thinking and independent thought. They're pulled together each week for about three hours and they study in small groups with me and we study a different theme each year. Intermediate services, that would be our grades three through five, they're pulled together one day of the week and that the amount of time extends as they each year from third to fourth to fifth, and in fifth they um, spend an entire day with me once a week. They again study in small groups with a GT teacher and they study a different theme each year. This year that theme is space. They will participate in a core curriculum activities designed to challenge them individually and they will explore effective attributes of giftedness. If they don't qualify for GT services, you or your teacher can nominate your child again in two years. Appeals are possible but must be made to the campus selection committee and they must be approved by central office or by the Northside District Gifted and Talented Personnel. In addition to that, they can also attend our enrichment classes, which are great for kids who are not necessarily in the gifted range but are very bright learners and who maybe need just a little bit extra challenge. Our enrichment classes participate in multidisciplinary process-oriented mini-studies. This is one hour each week, and this year we are very excited. We're getting to start doing hands-on equations, which is the beginnings of algebra. And it's all through a hands-on curriculum that we got a grant for. And we're, I'm very excited, and the kids are having a blast at it. Additional enrichment opportunities at Northwest Crossing. These are some of those extra clubs that are always great for the kids' brains and, and very enriching, and these are open to any child at Northwest Crossing. Destination Imagination is another great program that really delves into kids' um, ability to creatively problem solve and think outside the box. Thank you for coming. Uh, my email is mary.cedio at nisd.net.
Please contact me if you have any further questions.